dear students in this video lecture we will see chapter number 1 of environmental studies this environmental studies course is for mechanical civil computer entc and electrical engineering students there are total five topics for est unit number 1 is environment unit 2 is energy resources unit 3 is ecosystem and biodiversity unit 4 is environmental pollution and unit number 5 is social issues and environmental education what we will learn today some agenda points are given we will see environment its need and scope and the segments of environment so we will understand about environment and its segment the contents are 1.1 definitions need of environmental studies 1.2 segments of environment that is atmosphere hydrosphere lithosphere and biosphere learning objectives or the key learning points are 1a discuss the scope of environment describe various types of environment and 1c describe the importance of environmental studies so unit 1 is environment the word environment is derived from french verb enviro which means surrounding thus our environment can be defined as the physical chemical and biological world that surround us in a simple way environment is a place around us which includes people children benches ground grass trees insects birds sunlight air land water mountain etc biotic components constantly interact and exchange the things with each other as well as with an abiotic components for their survival and existence so which are the biotic components and abiotic components biotic components are nothing but living things while abiotic components are non living things some examples are shown in this picture now see the concept map of environment environment consists of two components one is biotic another is abiotic component biotic components are living things while abiotic components are the non living things examples of biotic components are people children trees grass plants insects birds etc abiotic components examples playground benches swings slide air water mountain etc now we will see types of environment there are four types of environment natural environment man made environment social environment and psychological environment we will see one by one natural environment the environment in its original form without the interference of human beings is known as natural environment all living and non living things occurring naturally on the earth second type is man made environment the environment changed or modified 
by the interference of human beings it's called man made environment examples are infrastructure utilities institutions housing industries parks buildings energy networks transportations etc next type is social environment social environment includes an individuals social economic and political condition wherein he lives example customs traditions ethics language culture professions living conditions etc next type is psychological environment every individual has his own psychological environment in which he lives the psychological environment enables us to understand the personality of an individual both the person and his goal from the psychological environment so we have studied four types of environment natural environment man made environment social environment and psychological environment now we will see structure of environment physical environment and biological environment physical environment consist of three types one is solid second is liquid third is gas so solid the lithosphere or the solid earth solid or the land and the mountain environment second liquid the hydrosphere that is water component present on the earth for example river reservoir oceans and glacier environment third type is gas various gases like oxygen carbon dioxide nitrogen methane etc present in the atmosphere now see the second type of structure that is biological environment it consists of different plants and animals plants that is flora example trees grass shrubs etc second animals that is fauna domestic and wild animals humans birds insects etc the scope of environmental studies this subject educates the students citizens and experts to understand the complexity of environmental issues experts having knowledge in the environmental fields that enables them to facilitate the solution of environmental problems the current trend of environmental degradation can be reversed if people of educated communities are organized and empowered by knowing this subject we can develop eco friendly new technologies for various developments which can save the natural resources as well as reduces environmental pollutions and public health impacts as the new earth is not discovered till now we have no other option except to maintain the ecological balance on the planet earth so that the livable environment should be kept for our future generations 
the major areas in which the role of environmental scientist are of virtual importance are the natural resources ecosystems biodiversity and its conservation environmental pollution social issues human population and environment now see the need and importance of environmental studies first one is public awareness environment issues being of international importance problems cropped in the wake of development conserve energy for an alternative solution save species from extinction save the natural resources reduce the pollution wise planning of development sustainable development segments of environment there are four main segments of environment one lithosphere second biosphere third hydrosphere and the fourth atmosphere these are four segments of the environment atmosphere the atmosphere implies the protective blanket of gases surrounding the earth it sustains life on the earth it saves it from the hostile environment of outer space it absorbs most of the cosmic rays from outer space and a major portion of the electromagnetic radiation from the sun it transmits only here ultraviolet visible near infrared radiation that is 300 to 2500 nanometer and radio waves while filtering out tissue damaging ultraviolet waves below about 300 nanometer second is hydrosphere the hydrosphere comprises all types of water resources like oceans seas lakes rivers streams reservoir polar ice caps glaciers and groundwater 71% of earth area is covered by water nature 97% of the earth's water supply is in the oceans about 2% of the water resources is locked in the polar ice caps and glaciers only about 1% is available as fresh surface water rivers lake streams and ground water fit to be used for human consumption and other uses next segment is lithosphere lithosphere is the outer mantle of the solid earth it consists of minerals occurring in the earth's crust and the soil example minerals organic matter air and water the last segment is biosphere biosphere indicates the rearm of living organisms and their interactions with environment which atmosphere hydrosphere and lithosphere so what we have learned today environment its definition and scope types of environment structure of environment needs and importance of environment and four segments of environment now let us have a quiz question 1 a biotic environment does not include option 1 air option 2 water option 3 soil option 4 plants 
So the correct answer is option D plants. Next question chief source of energy in environment is and the options are sun, fire, moon and stars. The correct answer is A that is sun. Chief source of energy in environment is sun. Next question. Energy is returned to the atmosphere in the form of dash. And the options are potential energy, metabolic energy, heat and vapors. Correct answer is C that is heat. Next question. Which of the following is the example of impact of development activities on hydrosphere? Option A. Air pollution. Option B. Soil pollution. Option C. Noise pollution. Option D. Water pollution. The correct answer is option D that is water pollution. Next question. Zone consisting air, water and soil is known as dash. Option A atmosphere. Option B hydrosphere. Option C biosphere. Option D lithosphere. And the correct answer is C. Biosphere. Biosphere consisting air, water and soil. Next question. Formation of ozone is Option A. Oxidation reaction Option B. Reduction reaction Option C. Photochemical reaction Option D. None of the above. The correct answer is photochemical reaction. So formation of ozone is a photochemical reaction. Question 7. One of the following is not a type of environment. Option A. Physical environment. Option B. Man-made environment. Option C. Social environment. Option D. Hydrosphere. And the correct answer is D. Hydrosphere. Next question. Social environment includes Option A. Traditions Option B. Ethics Option C. Culture And Option D. All of the above. The correct answer is Option D. All of the above. Next question. Physical environment is also called as Option A. Abiotic environment Option B. Biotic environment Option C. Man-made environment Option D. Psychological environment And the correct answer is A. Abiotic environment Question number 10. The term environment is derived from an old French word enviro means option A outside, option B inside, option C surroundings and option D biotic community. The correct answer is option C surroundings. So happy online learning my dear students. Thank you for watching this lecture.